October 27, 2019, Pastor Harmon preached a sermon on God's love. God's love is generous. God's love is unconditional. That message spoke to me personally. God wanted to bless others through me. Two weeks later, South Africa was born. South Africa is a multi-sectoral organization. Here is what we have done in less than three years. We set up a food distribution program feeding over 500,000 families in targeted countries. Through special partnerships, we shipped 40 feet containers full of medical supplies to Cameroon and equipped 51 hospitals and medical centers in villages and in cities. We donated scan machines, incubators to save lives of premature babies. We replaced 60 years old delivery beds we provided surgical material and PPF, wheelchairs, crutches, baby kits. We even fed first responders with hot meal as they took care of COVID-19 patients. When it comes to education, girls' education is a program that is so dear to my heart. We encourage parents every day to send their daughter to school and to enroll them to our upcoming STEM after-school program. We have a project called One Girl, One Goat to keep her in school by helping parents with the tuition. To students who work many miles per day, we donated 300 bikes in, to Senegal. One of the hardships in Africa right now besides farming is access to clean drinking water. Growing up, I used to walk miles to carry water for my family. And it pains me so much to know that today, women and girls are still doing the same. So, Sayap Africa has decided to provide a drinking water system to a high school called Ezeka High School. That high school has 2,000 students and 200 staff, and they don't have water for the last 35 years. We intend to hire a drilling company that will go there and provide that system to the school. Later on, with the help of God, we are going to build restroom for girls and boys, as well as a cafeteria. But the good thing about this drinking system is, after school, 183 families that live nearby will have access to the same drinking clean water. So let me ask you a question. What is your calling? 